Okay, we're on the roof. Almost not on the roof. Pretty darn steep. For me, I don't have that much mountain good in me. But here we are. See the deflection right in here? Technical word for that is something. But it doesn't look like it's that bad to me in a lot of terms. So I'm going to call it deflections. The structure faces north. I haven't gotten down and measured it just yet. I understand half of this roof was replaced. I'm trying to determine which half. I guess this half over the garage might look newer. But look at all the algae over here. There's a couple things I'll look for when I'm getting on the roof. But look at the wearing. Look at the wear here. That's pretty impressive. Going worn. In the valley. In the valley. Lots of leaks happen in valleys. That's a detail right there. That's a detail. We got a little bit of hail damage on the soft metal. Skylights weren't replaced. There's a couple things I look for when I come up on a roof that I didn't bother to show you, but I, I look at how the underlayment goes over the drip edge flashing, and that was doing it right. Picture of something right. The drip edge flashing is supposed to go over the edge of the rain gutter, and it is. It is. So those were some of my early clues that I like to make note of. Here's something I like to make note of. Satellite dish. That's like an urban compass. They face south. So the house does face north. But it shouldn't be. It's like a sail. And it shouldn't be fastened to the brickwork on the chimney. This is wrong. And then behind the chimney, this is where all the water goes down. Right down in here. Just like that. It's down in there. You should have a little doghouse behind here. People call it a uh, cricket. That's the technical name for it, believe it or not. Some people call it a saddle. That's the hillbilly name for it. But it should be right, you know, it, it comes out and it goes both ways. So any water that comes in goes around the chimney as it is. All this water comes down and just crashes next to the chimney. Got a lot of skylights. I do too. A lot of old skylights. I do too. But my house isn't for sale and you shouldn't have to live like me. But we've got a chimney cap up here. And the chimney crown. It's got some cracks on it. Chimney crown's got some cracks on it. I'll tell you what, this roof isn't as bad as that one. I mean, it's not a perfect roof. This is not that worn either. I'm not seeing a lot of very scary stuff here. I'm seeing stuff we don't like. And that is. This is called a clue. These are paw prints. Somebody's been dancing around this thing. Somebody's trying to get into your house. This is probably the new Oh, this is the old roof. Man, this is old. Never mind. See, you just get comfortable and start making assumptions. This roof here, it might not be leaking today, and all roofs leak. Home ownership 101. I get that. But no, this is this roof is this roof has seen much better days. You're gonna want to get your insurance company to look at this and see if they'll even insure it. We were talking on the telephone. I was talking on the telephone to my client, and they were saying, like, you know, you know, mathematically, it's only seven years. 
You know, I mean, that's as, as young as it can be, but this is a lot older than seven years. This should have been replaced with the rest of the roof. It just should have. I've got a better one here somewhere. There's always a better one. Hey, there we go. Look at that. It's kind of hard sometimes with digital images. It goes with pixels. I hope it comes in. Sometimes you can see things that, you know, your eye just didn't catch in the sun. So, win some, lose some. But that's what we got is digital images. Yeah, all this roof. This is old. This is old, and we got some more algae coming down here. The algae on the other side, I think, is based on the tree. I have to get back around there. I'm going back around anyway to take you know, some still images. Prove I was up here. This should be sealed, these loose shingles. See that? You think wind-driven rain can get underneath there? If my hand can get underneath there, I do. You see this vent? You see these vents? We have a mixed vent system. See that vent? A mixed vent system. It can cause short circuits through there and the soft vents won't work. It might be working well for you. You might have gotten a quote unquote improvement. But there's actually codes that say that don't do that. There are. This comes from the tree. 